So here we go, folks. The Acolyte star Amanda Stenberg appeared on The View yesterday. And um, we'll just say she she decided to play the victim. She played a card that normally gets p played when they've got nothing else. And that is, is that the fans, well, the fans are racist. Quite honestly, has nothing to do with bad writing, bad acting, bad effects, slow pacing. Doesn't have anything to do with any of that. Why, why the fans don't like the Acolyte. It all centers around the color of her skin. That's why we don't like the Acolyte. So, Stefan, my nerdy home over on X, she picked up on this and posted the clip. Victim mentality. That What's funny is that Whoopi is like, her character is fictional, people. Her character's not real. She's not her character. And again, fans, fans are reacting to the acting, writing, and lore breaking. Which is commonplace when, when you watch a Star Wars show now. Because that's all they do. Because remember, they've taken what George Lucas has written and basically said, Out it goes. We're doing our own thing. What the Acolyte is, is... is is a fan fiction product out of the mind of former Weinstein assistant, Leslie Hedlund. And what these people fail time and time and time again to get past is if the fans don't like something, it's not because of the color of your skin. It's because of the things that are going on during the show that they don't like. You know, they made a big deal of the force whip. All the force, or not the force whip, the lightsaber whip. Excuse me, pardon me. And all the lightsaber whip did was kill a big bug. Which, if memory serves, isn't the lightsaber whip a Sith weapon? You can correct me down in the chat if I'm wrong. So I'm going to play for you guys here. Amanda Steinberg or Stenberg talking about the haters, the fans, the is. So here we go. Um, and let me ask you this. Unfortunately, the success of this show has made you a target by some in the right wing for the inclusive casting, which is something Whoopi talks about all the time. All the time. Mm. Um, you have received horrific racist backlash, including threats, and what you call intolerance. Now, just to be clear, okay, just to be absolutely crystal clear, if she is receiving threats like that from so-called fans, shame on you. What myself and others in the YouTube sphere have been criticizing is not her personally, not her casting. What we've been criticizing is, again, the writing, the storytelling, the acting, the effects, the lore breaking. Those are the things we're critical of. Back to the little interview here on with the cackling winches on The View. Tolerable racism, that is your quote. Can you talk about that a little bit and, and, and what has that been like? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I really appreciate you giving me the space to speak about it. Um, it's been very painful for me. It's not something that I think you can emotionally prepare for. And we welcome criticism of the show when it comes to storytelling or performance. Um, but when it comes to death threats, now, I'm going to stop right there for a second. 
See what she said there about how they accept criticism of the show when it comes to acting, storytelling? No, you don't. No, you don't. You go right, you go right into the is and isms when people are critical of the show because it's the fans' fault. It's, um horrific, violent, racist language. It's unacceptable to me. And I've had to think really deep and hard about when you display discipline and when you display honor. And I guess what I mean by that is, is when do you decide to utilize discipline to not engage in a reactive way to hatred? And but you did engage in a reactive way to hatred. What you did is you created a diss track and released it on Instagram. Calling out everybody. When do you decide to engage in honor by honoring your values and your belief system? And in this case, I, I decided that that was the most important thing to me, mm -hmm. um, to be vocal, because I think that silence can send a message as well, and inaction can be very dangerous. It, it can be and, very dangerous. Um, and so I, well, I dropped a diss track. <laughs> That's what I heard, as one does with <laughs> I dropped a diss track about it. <laughs> and uh, Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh, there it is! There's the diss track! Um, <laughs> and it's, um, yeah, it's called Discourse. And it really is about, I mean, of course, what I've been experiencing, but it's, it's also just about the divisiveness of the culture and how difficult it is for all of us now to navigate information in this new era. It's so difficult to tell what is true, yeah. you know, online and these online algorithms, they shape our realities and our thinking. Mm -hmm. um, and clickbait journalism and these algorithms also profit from our mm -hmm. rage and our hatred. Clickbait journalism. There it is, folks. Not only is it the ists and isms, but it's clickbait journalism. Well, hate to tell you, Mandela, but people such as myself, I'm just going to name a few others. Critical Drinker, Drunk 3PO, Nerdrotic, the Geeks and Gamers crew. We're not journalists. We're commentators. When we see something that's good, we'll comment on it in a positive way. When we see something that's a turd, we're going to call it what it is. So clickbaity journalists. No, we're not journalists. We're just commentating. We're just YouTubers. We're just expressing our opinion. And I feel like that's something we, we, we are aware of, but we don't necessarily have enough of discourse or infrastructure around because it's so new. Yeah. It's also discipline. It takes a lot of discipline to you talking about ignoring. The first thing I'm going to remind everyone watching is that her character is fictional. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, Whoopi, we know your character is fictional. We can separate the actress from the character. <laughs> the fact that you right. are responding to this fictional character. Yeah. As though you were having dinner with her and she changed overnight for you. Yeah. So always remember that the people who are yelling at you often are bots mm -hmm. and not real. That's true. I don't know, Whoopi, I look pretty real. I'm pretty much flesh and blood as some of the others are that are in the YouTube sphere that are criticizing the show. Last time I checked, I wasn't a bot. Mm. And don't know you like you know you, and don't know that you can kick your own behind better than anybody else can. Mm. Put them out of your mind. They don't matter. Mm. Don't. Uh, thanks to Amanda. So there you have it. Amanda Stenberg playing the victim again. So you guys tell me. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will catch you guys later.